Welcome to OnQ Magazine. I'm Stacy Smith. Tonight, we go from the Pentagon just days after the September 11th bombings back in time to World War II and into the heart of a hotly contested political campaign right here in Allegheny County. Now, these locations and eras are all subject matter in documentary films being produced by students at Robert Morris University. And these student filmmakers are dedicated, enthusiastic, and getting national attention for their work. We may know the name, but do we know what the name means? What is the Documentary Center? Here's our working office, but that's not the Documentary Center. Down the hall is the control room and the television studio, but they're not the Documentary Center either. So what is the Documentary Center? The center was really my idea, and it's been my passion ever since. It was born out of tragedy, the unforgettable events of 9-11 that we all remember so well. I was walking to my first class following the events, which was in the afternoon. It was a production class. And I remember walking there and thinking, you know, what we're planning in this class doesn't make any sense. You know, here we are, a video production class, and I have them going out doing exercises. There must be a better way. You know, Dr. Seguin said, you know, throw the syllabus away. It's, it's, it, it's meaningless at this point. He was kind of, you know, just pacing in front of the room, and I remember him saying, you know, we have to do something, you know, about this. We have to, let's, you know, we have to do something with this. You know, we just kind of split up in the groups and started figuring out how we could turn this into a video project. We decided that we were going to go out and, and talk to people, and at that, from that point on, I just kind of knew that something interesting was going to happen. You know, it wasn't until much later on that we knew or that we could put you know, we could really shape what we had, all this footage that we shot into a 40-minute documentary. There's no other university in the country that did anything like this. We were situated in an ideal place. We we're close to Washington, close to New York, and close to Shanksville. They had interviews that neophytes in production just don't get, you know. They actually had some very moving interviews. And then somewhere along the line, some students said, well, we could call it America Talks. Broadway and Liberty. On the edge of Ground Zero is a chaotic scene. Thousands of people line the streets not as tourists, but as Americans visiting a mass grave, paying respect to those who lost their lives. I just come down to see, you know, the actual destruction, um, to see this chaos down here. That's all. Just come to see with my own eyes what happened. Because it's a little different from what you see on TV. Dr. Seguin has a great ability to allow his students to develop not only as documentary filmmakers, but as people as well. After we did America Talks, we approached him about doing something more. He went to bat for us, and we got a grant through Robert Morris University to travel overseas to England and Dublin, Ireland, six months after 9-11. We listened as people talked, talked about America and 9-11. As we listened, we found a vastly different perspective we didn't expect, and to be honest, which shocked us. To reflect our sometimes painful awakening, we called this documentary Beyond Our Shadow. We knew the place to go on a Sunday morning was Speaker's Corner. People gather here in Hyde Park and debate on everything from religion. Every single prediction that the Jewish prophets give from Moses, King David, Yesha Yehu Hanavi, Yama Yehu Hanavi, to government because it is a federation and it doesn't matter which state produces nuclear bombs and which state doesn't. We found ourselves in the middle of some pretty heavy debates at times. Yes. 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 Other Americans do it, they make sure that they tell you about it. They have well, they're definitely wrong with that. We still Knowing their own trumpets is why they're the one of the most crushing, boring, self-righteous, hypocrites I think we do a lot of good in the world, too, like but no one wants to recognize it. God is the judge of all things. He will judge America for its actions as much as he will judge Great Britain for its actions. And every man and he'll judge you, too. You think the twin... By now, the Documentary Center was created, and students were on fire with the possibilities and excitement of learning the documentary form. Dr. Seguin was now urging us to look into more local stories. On a Sunday morning when I was reading the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, and there was an article in there that just astounded me. And it was about a family in northeastern Pennsylvania that in World War II had eight children and three went to the war and died. And I said, this is a, a Pennsylvania Saving Private Ryan story. So I found three students that I thought would be good, and I asked them if they wanted to participate. And they said yes. We learned a lot, how to research a historic documentary, 
how to use archival footage, but most of all, how to tell a story, an emotional story, and to pay tribute to another generation of fallen heroes. We called this story simply, The Bala Boys. Well, people were all over the streets, you know, and when people heard and seen the procession coming through. Yeah, it was a heartache. Well, they come through all, all the small towns. They stopped at actually the, the school. Uh, and, and then uh, we, when we first uh, lived on Broadway, we lived at uh, 29 West Broadway. And uh, so we stopped at that house. And at that time, I think the hearses got in a, in a row of three uh, alongside of each other and went up the street that way. But the saddest part of it was when they did stop in front of the house and my mother said to the boys, you're home now, go on in. And it's just something I can't forget. In 2003, another unique opportunity presented itself. That was the year of an intense race for Allegheny County Chief Executive. Some of us had seen documentaries about the political process, such as The War Room. We wondered what could happen if we were granted that type of behind the scenes access to this campaign. To our surprise, both incumbent Jim Roddy and challenger Dan Honorado gave Robert Morris students exclusive access to their campaigns. The result was Portrait of a Campaign. We gave the documentary its world premiere right here on campus. Both Jim Roddy and Dan Honorado were there to comment on the film and to get reacquainted with our student filmmakers. That evening, like the documentary, was a unique insight into the political process. Another type of local story we wanted to tell about was the unique events and festivals of our region. We heard that every year, Steubenville, Ohio celebrates the life of their favorite native son, Dean Martin. There were some humorous moments, but we also found the strength and resilient spirit of a town that's seen some tough times economically. We also met a warm and genuine people with pride in Dean, pride in their town, and with lots of amore. <laughs> So I thought the next challenge for the Documentary Center was to have our students go international. So we started here in the studio. And we ended up in Turkey. We got the opportunity to go to Germany. I made a short documentary about German soccer fans. I went on to shoot a documentary in Brazil. I went on to produce documentaries in Central America and Chile. Para trabajar a gusto, exigimos un precio justo para mejorar la finca. There are so many stories here. It's it's beyond imagination, and the documentary center. Uh, can become an important part of, you know, of telling these stories. And Robert Morris University can be a place that tells the stories of Western Pennsylvania and beyond. Our two current projects are both strong local stories. One is about Nate Smith, a civil rights activist who right here in Pittsburgh helped integrate the building trade unions. We are in development now and expect to have it completed by the end of the year. Another documentary is The Heroes of Post 639, which tells the story of my grandfather and many other brave men who fought through World War II and how they still reside in my hometown of Claysville, Pennsylvania. We're developing library resources and curriculum. We're bringing in lots of filmmakers and showing these documentaries to all you know, different parts of the community. This one day will be a center that's known worldwide. There are plenty more stories to be told. That's what it's all about, the stories of people. And the remarkable students who tell those stories. And the outstanding faculty who mentor them. We are the Documentary Center. center.